Hey everybody, it's Bob LPs. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we finally sealed the keyhole in Hollow Bastion. And now, before we head off to the final world, there are a few things I still want to take care of. Number one, something that a lot of people have been asking me about since the beginning of the LP. The book in the Magician's Study, Merlin's book. Now that I've got all the torn pages located throughout all the worlds we're finally ready to do this I wanted to take care of all these things back to back because doing one thing in a couple minutes and then leaving and not coming back for a long long time seemed kind of pointless to me so we're gonna do everything back to back in this one video we're gonna cover it all and then we'll take on something new in the next episode and we'll basically be touching up on everything until the end of the game this game is almost over. This is one of the extras that are not required at all. You don't even have to touch this book. You don't even have to know what it is. But, regardless, let's check out this empty meadow. Sink, 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 sink. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. I don't know how, but they made this more depressing than I ever thought anything related to Winnie the Pooh could possibly have been. Like, seriously, everyone and everything that he has ever known and loved Gone! Just gone! Poof! Gone! Because the freaking Artless tore, tore all the pages out. But... Th all he's got left is this log! And it's got a hole in it! The one thing he does have is imperfect! It's so messed up. Like, seriously, out of all the possible worlds they could have tried to make depressing, Winnie the freaking Pooh? And notice that, uh, the theme is playing in the background. I will not be singing along to that. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't start singing along to that. I gotta stop. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Okay. Must not continue. Hey, Al. Have we met before? Welcome to the 100 Acre Woods. Nah, I just saw that you were an owl, so I assumed your name was Owl. I mean... Winnie the Pooh is a poo. That's something else I never got. Like, seriously, why is... Pooh Bear? What, what, what even is that? Everything else is... Well, there's one exception besides Pooh. Renig also. I assume that's what this means. Hey, let's ring it three times and see what happens. Come on, give us something like the last two times we ran something. No, nothing, no, nothing for ringing. 
Or reneging? Oh, that's why, because we're reneging it, not ringing it. Oh, mother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. Oh, stop making me depressed, boo. Anyway, a mega ether falls if you hit the, um... Whatever that's supposed to be. Chimney's not the right word. The pipe. Just hit the pipe. And if you open up this, elixir. So, up to this point, 13 elixirs, 8 mega elixirs. Dang. Let's open this for no reason. And now let's abandon the house. Before we do that, and there we go. That's it. <laughs> now this is why I never visited the 100 acre wood before. Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages scatter over many worlds. Would you find them for us? Mmm, done. So, whenever you first unlock access to the book, which is really early in the game, you can get that, and then you can unlock this. But after that, it's done until you start finding torn pages, and the torn pages are still in a specific order, no matter which ones you get. First one... A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look. Sure. Bees, tree, honey, tree, maybe. That's what Pooh's been complaining about. Hello? Is anyone there? What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh? Pooh? Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Somehow they made it even more depressing. They made Piglet, of all characters, feel abandoned. And now he's scared of the giant human that appears out of nowhere. My name is Sora, not Christopher Robin. What? Excuse me? Okay, let's get out of here. And all you gotta do is sneak up on Piglet. Yeah, you have to sneak up on him. Kind of rude. Kind of scary. <gasps> Oh dear, I was just, just, never mind. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. Ah, oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> Oh, Pooh! Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Pooh! Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? B -b 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. Unfortunately, Winnie the Pooh book, as you would expect, is by far the most extremely childish world in the entire game. Fully. Wait, if you could only chase those bees away, blah blah blah, smack off honey, blah blah blah, help, yes. 
And Owl is always going to show up and give you pointers. And I'd rather him not give me pointers because everything's very easy. I'll let me offer you a few pointers. I can offer two. R1, X. Yeah, I think we're done. And you haven't even landed on a branch yet. Like, seriously, what's about to happen is we're about to swing at bees. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more button. Triangle. The higher up you go, there's more honey, blah, blah, blah. There's a high score you can possibly get whenever the bees come out. Lock on to them, hit them, and that's it. And you can rush, use the rush command by hitting triangle. That's all you gotta know. That's all you gotta know. And unfortunately, you saw that there's a timer in the top right corner. But whoa, hello. Wow, that was a, an embarrassing miss. But um, anyway, you have to do this for three minutes straight. And probably the easiest thing... Oh, what the heck? Why is that even happening? Okay. Who's getting in my way? Okay, there we go. Now we should be good. Now we should be good. Okay. Uh, anyway, we still gotta do this for three minutes, which is very tedious. Just the fact that we gotta sit here and watch and wait. So, while I'm waiting, what is your guys' favorite Winnie the Pooh character? If anyone ever watched Winnie the Pooh as a kid, or for some reason still does, because I know I haven't watched it in years. Like, more than a decade. <laughs> Definitely. I haven't watched this since probably since the time I was seven? I just have no memory of Winnie the Pooh, really. Like, there's a few references I get from Kingdom Hearts, but in general, like, I don't have too many Winnie the Pooh memories because I was too young to remember or copy her hand. I know the entire theme by heart somehow, but I don't remember anything from the show. Like, I remember obvious little things like Eeyore always lost his tail, Tigger bounced around, Rabbit didn't like poo eating all of his honey. I don't understand why Rabbit had honey. Um, but yeah, I just remember little characteristics. I don't remember specific things from the show. Which is actually kind of depressing, because I remember so many things from all the other worlds, but this one, just nothing. Maybe you guys can jog my memory. Post something you may remember about Winnie the Pooh, and I might remember it. I'm very curious, but alright, we still got another 45 seconds. And honestly, at this point, lock on, and when the bees get up, up to like your head area, swing at them, you automatically hit them, and Sora will jump back into place. So... This world is too easy. Now, later parts are definitely rewarding, but the parts you gotta go through to get to that is so tedious. So, so tedious. And all for what? A high score that doesn't matter? Yay! Look at me! 250! Woo! Sorry for the fake enthusiasm, but can you blame me right now? This is kind of funny, at least. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> so much honey. So little bear. I did not mean to make a reference by saying little bear, but anyway, <laughs> obtain nature spark. And I'll go ahead and give that to the fairy godmother very shortly, but let's actually move on to the rest of uh, the book. And I'll actually do that at the very end of the episode, but anyway, he was talking, his mouth was moving, he was still eating, he didn't even stumble with the honey in his mouth. Just a little voice acting mess up or directing mess up. I don't know what it, it was some kind of mess up. It was illogical. Now, this may be even more tedious than the um, 
the thing just now with Pooh and the honey. Um, I'm gonna actually pull up these because I forgot which ones, but some of them definitely do give you items. I honestly forget which ones though, but I'll go ahead and speed this part up. Okay, so out of all that, the last one I picked was an elixir, and I was seriously about to give up. I wonder if there's anything over here. Nothing's gonna beat an elixir. Alright, let's speed this up too. And that one I actually cut out, because there wasn't anything! Hit this and water comes out. <laughs> Ultimate combo on the close. I'm just pointing out all these little things that are just messed up. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Who? I don't think Rabbit's too happy. Look, Rabbit's house came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Who's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. <laughs> the house says no one's there. See, like, I understand these references. Nobody's home? That's right! Nobody! Like, I remember these things. Like, I think they probably took the most iconic and most memorable moments from Winnie the Pooh and put them in the game. Because honestly, these are the only ones I remember. Who is this person named Nobody? Nobody? Have you seen Rabbit? No! No Rabbit! Is no Rabbit here! There's no one here! Uh, hello, rabbit. Freaking piglet just walks right through. Why, Pooh? What a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, piglet. And uh, is this a new friend? But Pooh, I'm sorry, but I'm all out of honey at the moment. It's our job as the Keyblade Master to point out the lies and find the honey. H honey? How did that get up there? Would you like some poo? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. I would like just a small smackerel. I'm quite hungry. Smackerel means fill all 13,000 stomachs you don't have. You're not eating the whole bot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? Well, um... I'm so glad to have found both rabbit and some honey. Uh, you got honey, not... Okay. A page ago, you got honey. Well, um... I guess our business is done here. I'm saying this sarcastically, because I know we're not done! Oh, help and bother. I'm stuck again. I came in through this hole, so it must have shrunk. Oh, it's because he can't stop liking honey so much. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there was something we could do. Now, there's something I do remember that they kind of left out of this. When Rabbit started decorating Pooh's behind. Like, it's like, oh, okay, well, it's going to be stuck here forever. Might as well make the most of it. <laughs> Started using it as like an ornament, started hanging up stuff on his butt. <laughs> oh, how will I get honey if I'm stuck here? Wow. Pooh, still worrying about honey, huh? Doesn't realize honey got him in this situation. Still wants honey. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just the ticket to slimming down a poo. Oh, no! Oh no, what? Is it my favorite character coming? Yes, it is! <laughs> hey there! Name's Tigger! T I double G R, that spells Tigger! Well now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger! 
You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> well, why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tigger's do best. Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> The wonderful thing about Tigger is Tigger's a wonderful thing. I'm not gonna finish this. I I, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna get carried away. <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole wonderful thing about Tigger. Tigger's the only one. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I, I can't do this. The, the themes, the songs, the little things from Winnie the Pooh is what I remember and love. But this game ruined it. It, it made it take so long. Once. Oh, are you gonna flatten that carrot? Twice. Oh, you're so cool. You're teaching me how to have Tigger not flatten the carrot, and to do so, you flatten the carrot. Congratulations. You're an idiot. As wise as you may think you are, you're an idiot. Alright, now... This is probably going to be annoying because... While the end result is easy... The rush command doesn't always show up, and sometimes you rush too far out of the way. It's not like the rush from... Oh, there we go. It's not like the rush from the tree. Like, see, I just overran it. I just overran it again. Overran again! There we go. Are you serious? I just keep... Are you serious? Yeah, I knew I was gonna fail at this. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You just gotta not have too many carrots sink. And good thing it's only a minute because I would get so annoyed so fast if this was any more than that. Uh, Rush didn't do anything. Rush like it didn't do anything. Oh, uh, you troll! You troll. Can I please rush? It's not rushing. Rush isn't showing up or rush isn't working. This sucks. One, two, three, four, five. But is that enough? Please tell me that's enough. <laughs> How about those bounce Well, They were good even for a tiger. <laughs> All right, well, it was enough. The other thing he might say, if you actually did enough, would be like, you kept up pretty good there for a non-tigger. Fly, jumps away. I almost said flies away. <laughs> he doesn't fly, he bounces. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, I hate that many came so much. All right, now Pooh's got the carrot top juice. Just a little push will do. And by a little push, we mean Solo Red Trinity. Go! <laughs> Rabbit's eyes. He lost his pupils. Oh, oh bother. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well... It isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> there is plenty of honey. <laughs> and torn page turned into a new item, Mithril Shard. And next up... Uh, this should be it, right here? Yep, okay. A swing hangs... From a stout tree. Take a look. Sure. Look, 
who, something is flowing this way. Thank you, right, Piglet? What could it be? That ain't a what, that's a who! Eeyore! I don't know why I'm sounding so emotional and happy for Eeyore when he's the exact opposite all the time. Hello, bro. Yes, it's me. Could you pull me out? That is, if it's not too much trouble. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. So unhappy! Alright, I got interrupted there for a moment, but anyway, let's go check out Eeyore floating about in the river. Um, also, just want to point out, his tail is like obviously right here, like how can you even miss it? Anyway. Eeyore's just gonna like, float in place. It looks like he doesn't even really need help, but touch him and there you go. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you. Other you. <laughs> the dialogue for Eeyore. Like, you know, floating along out there, it seemed like something was missing. And something's still missing. Is it your tail? Why? Eeyore's tail is gone. How did I know? Is that what's missing? Let's see. Yep, lost it again. Wonder where I went this time. It's not much of a tail, though I'm not. Though I'm sort of attached to it. But I don't know why anybody looked for it. Probably won't be fun anyway. So depressed! Everything was depressing enough until Eeyore just came about like, Oh, uh, I'm the depressing character. Oh, hey, I'll... Searching from a high place is the quickest way to find it. Or just looking dead ahead and seeing the tail as soon as we can walk toward Eeyore. Swing. Yeah. Okay, a reaction command would be very simple for, um, hey. The thing is right freaking... Hey, Rabbit, you see it, right? Let's all look very ho hard to help our friend Eeyore. It, it, you're getting colder. You're getting colder. You're, you're getting ice cold. You are in the new ice age. You are so cold. Eeyore, look, it's right here. Guys, guys, it's right here. Oh, I hate that you have to do this. You have to lock on to Pooh and have him follow you. And you need him to follow you all the way up to the swing. Okay, don't go that way. Don't go to the honey. Do not go to the honey. It's only going to take even longer. Can you walk any faster? Come on, please. Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. the Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Willy nearly slow freaking bear. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's not look for the tail or anything. Let's swing. Eeyore couldn't be possibly any closer to his tail. He's just gotta look and be like, oh, found it. Someone lend me a hand, I've only got hooves. Like, <laughs> here's what to do. Oh, I told you what to do already. How? Like this? Like this? Then press R1 to give Pooh a push. Press R1. So yeah, every time Owl opens up his wings, just press R1. You don't have to press it when it's coming down, you have to press it when Owl opens up his arms, which is in the worst possible, not normal timing. J j just watch. Like, why at the top of the swing? Wouldn't it make more sense whenever he's actually coming back down? But anyway.
Wow, way to go. You broke his house. But hey, Dum Dum found his tail. Oh, how's it looking? He's just staring at his butt. His hand wasn't even close to the pin. But yes, we pinned the tail on the donkey. Woo, so funny. It's not much of a tail, but it's mine. Thanks, everyone. You mean thank me? Or, I'm sorry, other you, as you like to call me? Howdy do! I'm an owl! Woo! Torn page turned into a new item. Obtain the power of time. Stop has been upgraded to stop, bro. This is the first, like, instance of the book actually being useful. As dumb and as dragged out as all these mini-game things are, you get some good stuff in the long run. We just upgraded stop, and we're about to get some overall stat boosting items all right now we're reunited with one last character little Roo. this here's my bouncing spot we can bounce around all day not the beats bouncing so you want to bounce two swords it's a lot of fun okay to bounce with the finest, you'll need some pointers from the finest. But Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. You haven't mastered anything useful! Bounce this way, please. So now... In order to let them have us cooperate and do anything, Tigger says. Here's a little warm up. So, yeah, Tigger says. Or Tigger bounces. I don't know. Now, warning before you start doing this, high jump randomly gets disabled. So. Oh wait, you can swing, okay. I was just making sure, but um, yeah, I I was doing a practice uh, playthrough of this so I could see how, about how long all this would take and it took too much longer than I thought it would. But um, and by how long everything would took, I meant the entire book uh, to see how long the video would be. But um, yeah, my practice playthrough file, I realized that you couldn't high jump after this started so I missed the first jump of the warm-up because I hate regular jump I hate regular jump once you have high jump you're used to it and you gotta sit here and watch Tigger says it's not like anything changes unfortunately I have all the patterns memorized without even having them do it because of how obnoxious this is just Things you really like and things you really hate are things you tend to always remember. And this is one of those things I hate. And I always find myself swinging just to make sure I hate the jump because I'm always scared. And even Sora's just like, eh. You're doing fantastical. This will be the last one. Now watch how pointless this is. Yay, I landed on top of a tree. Now let's hop down and just get to the end. Like, really? This is the first one all over again, but with this. Whoa! He did it for me! Wow! An IGN reviewer would love this game because they do everything for you! You've got mighty good at bounce, Sora. Right, Roo? Right, Roo? Why is he looking up my shorts? Okay. Hey, Tigger, I think he's ready for the big one. 
There's only way to, one way to find out. The big one, yay. And what's weird is, this isn't even the big one. This really doesn't have anything to do with bouncing. That's all you gotta do. Just keep smacking him. Actually, let me see if I can time this right. Oh, you can't guard at all. Okay. I was gonna see if I could just guard and do it without moving like this, but apparently not. Oh, no, I don't swing that way. There we go. And you don't really need to get all 20 of these. It doesn't matter. But after 20 of them, they're gonna... Well, something's gonna happen. And let's speed through this. And like I said, you didn't have to hit every last one of them, but eventually that'll happen. And let's hop in here. And here's the first of the treasure chests we can get. We're really zoomed in on Sora's belt. And that's an AP up. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else before I even use that. Now, you don't really need to bounce. You just need high jump and glide for the most part. Uh, let's grab this. All right, dark matter. All right, can I get back up here without, dang it. Dang it, okay. But yeah, there's chests all over the place and there's these little fruits. Let's actually grab this one right here. And there's two of them, so you're pretty much gonna have to come back up. Oh, it's a nut, not a fruit. Duh. Um, what else would you call a little pink thing in a tree? Right? Um, let's head way over here. Let's make sure we don't fall. Okay, good. All right, what's this? Mithril shard. Haven't seen that before. All right, let's hop in here. Now make an item fall. Shield 2G. Great. Gummy block. Don't care. All right, I don't think there's actually any more chests, but let's double check. If you step on these things, that'll shoot up. But I think that's just if you don't have glide. Yeah, that's just if you don't have glide. So, let's just ignore all the rest of this. Let's come back to Owl. Where's he at? He's way over there, okay. Ah, splendid, here's something in return. Power up. So, he's basically having you collect nuts and then that's his way of being like, oh, here's something useful for your trouble. You're so good at everything. You. Where's. Okay. Hit this. It'll make us rise right up to this. Because touching it was way too simple. That's a defense up. And like I said, I think he just gives you everything. So. Go ahead and grab this one over here, and I think that's actually the last one. I don't think there is any more than this. All right, Mithril Shard, there we go. Oh, a few more, okay, that's not it. Okay, hold on. Where is the last one? Actually, no, that's right, There, there are four, I think. I collected these two right here. I collected the one from the little waterfall. Well, not waterfall, the stump. Pretty much a waterfall, though. Well, water rise. Um, oh, I think the last one's like way up here. So, yep, there it is. Now, this is the last one. If only I could glide a little faster. Maybe one day. Ah, Splendor, here's something in return. And AP up, there we go. A few more, what the heck? Okay, there's more than four? Wait a minute. 
More than four is not ringing a bell. More than four is really not ringing a bell. And they're very easy to spot. They stand out. But what the heck? A fifth one? Oh, there it is. Oh, dang, 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 dang. Ah! Uh, please land on this. Okay, let me land on this. Dang it! Nothing is working for me. Everything is out to get me. All I'm doing is nut collecting. Leave me alone, wilderness. Let me take one of your children. It turns out you did need to use that just to get up there. So it's not just for not having glide. Okay. Look at all these nuts. We couldn't have done it without you. Okay, now we're done. I could have sworn there were only four, but there were five. You would think I'd remember something like that. Wait, wait, that's pretty much all you can do there. So, Torn Page turns into a new item, Mithril. Now, I think this is the last one. And Pooh's walking around looking at the dirt. What are you doing, Pooh? I just told you what he was doing, Sora. He's walking around looking at the dirt. Or, I'm sorry, the mud. Shh, quiet, or they'll get away. Pooh, the people who took everyone away. See their footprints? We were all sticking together to make sure no one got lost again. But then, I saw some footprints that needed following, so I did. Suddenly, everyone was gone. Bad people must have taken them away. Actually, Pooh, I think those footprints are, um... Anyway, I'll help you look for your friends. So he doesn't just insult Pooh's intelligence. Anyway, let's examine this. And this is actually where Sora proves a point. Eeyore? Hello. What are you doing? Looking for sticks to build my house again. Sticks for your house? This place already feels like a house. Well, as far as animals go, yep, yeah, Sora's got a point. Seems like a great spot to gather everyone once we find them. Which would be a great idea if it wasn't in mud. Honestly, I think that's the only problem here. But anyway, I was actually like anxious for something cuz oh hey rabbit come here come here rabbit there we go I'll look so intent on something well I just had to follow him but then I'll flew off into the sky and there I was all by myself congratulations stay in the mud but anyway I was so anxious whenever Pooh started saying I, they were looking for the people that took him away I'm like wait Am I about to fight Heartless? But, no. N nothing of the sort. And it's annoying because you actually have to make Pooh do a couple things. And if memory serves me well, it's for one person. And also there's no high jump or glide here. Which is annoying. I don't know why they randomly disable it in certain places, but not others. It makes no sense. But, uh, anyway, let's... Oof, whoa, whoa, okay. I accidentally pushed myself off, but... Let's cast gravity on this. And good thing we did it before Pooh started walking on it. Because otherwise he would have fallen through and came all the way back. And it would have sucked. Screw Pooh's jumping animation. Oh, sweet. Put me right here. Okay. And right, I just got to talk to Tigger. I saw Pooh walking away, so I bounced after him. Then I bounced a bit too high, and I lost sight of old Pooh Bear. Really? You lost sight of old Pooh Bear because you jumped too high. Well, how inconvenient for me, T.I. Double Cutter. Let's hover back up here again. Yay, put me on the other side, why don't you? 
I can't believe we used a, a magic spell in here and gravity of all things, actually. Okay, lock on the poo. Go climb up on this thing. Yeah, look at the time! Look how much time this is taking! And you know why? You see Piglet in there, but you can't get to him. You can't dodge roll, you can't crouch, you're just slightly too tall, and you can't just say, Hey, Piglet! Nope. Come on, Pooh. You come do it because the game doesn't want to let me. Where are we? You're in a tree. But if we go back to the way we came, we should find home. Doi! So you went through the little hole and climbed all the way up instead of standing still. And why everyone got separated is way beyond me. But hey, Al, before you start flying randomly again, I thought I'd better have a word with Rue without about his bouncing. The next thing I knew, quite to my surprise, I was lost too. Rue? So that means we have one more to find? Yeah, honestly, I never even knew Rue was anywhere near here until I talked to Owl for that first time. Rue's way over here. And I wonder what will get him down. This ain't working. Actually, wait, did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. I was about to use gravity on him, actually. I tried bouncing as high as Tigger. I was so busy trying to bounce, I forgot to... Watch where I was bouncing. And instead of coming right back down, you decide to stay there and wait for me. How convenient. Hashtag sarcasm. Hey, Piglet. Get your butt in the house. Is it just me or did the grass just shrink? And thank you, Pooh, for not making me chase you. Everyone's here. And Torn Page turned into EXP Ring, and I'll show you guys what that does in a minute, but basically it raises experience, I think by 20%. I'm so glad we're all together again. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when I was all alone. Oh, Piglet, you gotta be brave. You weren't lonely at all? Lonely? Are you kidding? I'm a Tigger! The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. But I do admit, friends are awfully fun too. <laughs> think, think, think. Hey, Pooh. What are you thinking about now? Oh. Well, I'm just thinking about um, what to think about. <laughs> well, I'm off. Sora, where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Oh, am back again. <laughs> I hope you find your friends. forget we shall always be here if you'd like to visit again that is and as depressing as the beginning of the book was here's the depressing end I'm never ever ever coming back even if I am on the cover. No. And I also find it kind of funny that the only three characters that were even voice acted is actually on the front.
But that's not all! White screen, go away, you're taking too long. Thank you. Alright, Winnie the Pooh, done. Now, one of the first things we got was Nature Spark. So let's talk to the Fairy Godmother and see what this even is. Oh, another summon gem? Let's help this little one. Here we go! Bibbidi bobbidi boo! And we learn summon spell Bambi. And Donald obtained Lord Fortune. So basically by having all the summons, we got that. Now let's actually check Donald and see. Strong both physical and magical power, raises max MP by one. So, yeah, why the heck not? It actually looks kind of cool, hold on. Morning Staff plus planets, <laughs> pretty much. So, yeah, raises max MP by one, strength is pretty good. I like it, I like it. The, uh, the last weapon we had already boosted the MP, but now it's stronger. Um, at least we're not losing any MP on Donald. Now, as long as this video may have taken, the next one may be a little more interesting. We're heading to the Olympus Coliseum. This is the last thing I want to do before we go to the final world and pretty much end off the game. Actually, let me go ahead and select world and show you real quick. Because in case it wasn't obvious already, this is the final world. So, like, what what was after Hollow Bastion? Just the, in, like, where else can you possibly squeeze in a world? Like, right here, maybe? But no, this is the, this is the last world. And once we're done with this, we're done the game. So... There's a few things left, most of which is in the Olympus Coliseum. Actually, I'm already here. I don't know why I warped. But um, basically, this is how the rest of the LP is going to plan out. Let me just land in Olympus Coliseum and show you guys something real quick. You may have remembered that there were little banners on each side of the the Coliseum uh, on the walls and it shows you the seeds for all the competitors in each tournament all that right there well we've opened up a new tournament the Hades Cup 50 competitors so Hades Cup Shows you the top 10, then goes all the way to 20, and it shows you everyone that's in each thing, yada yada yada. But what I find funny is that out of 50 freaking seeds in the Hades Cup, Hades isn't even number one, he's number 10. So, 40 matches in, or 39 really, we're gonna fight Hades. That's a little random. But anyway, in the previous uh, Coliseum Cups, I've shown all three modes in one video, and two of them lasted a little over an hour. I am not doing that for the Hades Cup, because the Hades Cup is really dragged out, and it's not like the timed attack mode is designed to be three minutes long. So, I'm going to do the whole thing, enter it together. And on my own time, I'm going to go ahead and do the solo mode and time attack mode just to complete it and say it's done. But that's going to be it. I'm not actually going to show it because I'm pretty sure no one's going to want to watch the same 50 or I'm sorry, 49 fights because we count as seed number 50. I'm pretty sure no one wants to watch 49 fights again and have it take even longer and then watch it again just to see how much time I happen to have left. The other ones were all right because it was only nine matches, but... 49? No. Okay, so the next episode we're going to take on the Hades Cup. And I'll see you guys then.
until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Goodbye.